Hey guys, Jim here from Drink a Beer, Play a Game. If you've been watching the channel for the last few months, then you would have noticed this guy sitting back here in every video. Well, today's the day that I finally give it a review as I take a look at the Galaga Countercade by Arcade One Up. So if you've been around YouTube or Twitch for a while, you've probably heard of the name Arcade 1UP. They've been around for a number of years now, and they've mostly been known for their replica arcade machines. So they're about three-quarter scale, and they come with a number of different games on them with a number of different licenses. And when they first came out, they got a lot of flack for kind of having cheap, crappy parts. But as the years have gone on, they've definitely stepped their game up there. So over the years, the modding scene for this has just gone off the rails. People put light up marquees in their machines, people put, you know, LED lights all over the place, they replaced the sticks and the buttons with official Sanwa parts, so there is always these ways that people just like to take these as a nice looking shell and improve upon them. Or there's people who just buy them, leave them stock, and let them take up an entire room and make an arcade in their home for a reasonable price. So these are pretty cool and they do serve a purpose, even if the elitists do kind of hate them. So for me, I don't have the room for them, and they are kind of expensive. For the most part, they come in around 250 to 300 bucks each. So they're not exactly cheap, and it would make more sense for me to just like build a main cabinet at that point, but for something to just put together and to have it work and to look like an arcade, it's a cool product to have. So besides their main arcade line, they have a number of offshoots, including the countercade line, and does what it says it does. It's meant to fit on top of a counter. And of course, the line has a number of arcade games with, you know, multiple games per, like Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man ones, Dig Dug, whole different ones. So you have options out there. So enough about the background. What about the actual unit that I have? So this comes pre-built all in one case. It's actually not that heavy. The unit itself only comes in at about 11 pounds. So with packaging, it's like probably close to 13 to 15, something like that. But... Yeah, it came to my home shipped, all put together, relatively easy to take out of the box, comes with instruction manuals and all that kind of jazz, though it does have protective film all over the screen, which was surprisingly annoying to take off, and I still haven't taken it off the joystick part, but all that aside, yeah, the presentation's really nice, both on the box itself and on the side of the cabinet to really make it just look like a Galaga machine, so I love the attention to detail there. Now, this isn't going to be as, you know, one-to-one -one replica as, say, the Numbskull Quarter Arcade cabinets that we have reviewed in the past, but they do do a good job of giving you that feel of Galaga. The stick itself feels fine. It's a two-gate, as you would expect, so with Galaga or Galaga in 88, you're only going to move left or right. So if you ever wanted to hack it and throw different games in there, you're going to have to change out the parts. The one button is nice. It's responsive. Again, I am no arcade expert, so I couldn't tell you how good it is. I have to tell you, though, that I do feel the slightest bit of input lag, though it could just be me expecting more than what an arcade would normally do. Again, I don't know exactly how it would work compared to the real thing, but for my purposes, I got used to it pretty fast, and it works fine enough. So my biggest problem with the machine is going to be the actual screen itself. And I hate that I don't have a real good way to capture what my eyes actually see. So when you look at it straight on, it's kind of got a weird shimmer effect. Like everything looks crisp and it's on an LCD screen and it looks fine. But there's just something that's just a little bit off-putting. So I actually have to tilt it slightly to the right to make it almost have that old school CRT feel. Sure, it looks a little, you know, a little hazier than it would if you looked at it straight on, but it just looks cleaner. But then, weirdly enough, if I flip it the complete other way, it's basically, I can't look at it. It's like looking at an old flat tube TV from like 1992 if you look at it slightly from the side. It's almost unusable at that point. So the screen is definitely the biggest issue, and I have noticed slight moments of screen tearing as I play. It doesn't happen all the time, but... Every once in a while, it's almost like a little jitter. So that's weird considering it's not like you're doing any real scrolling, especially in the original Galaga. The sound emulation sounds fine enough to me. Again, I'm no expert, so from what I hear, 
sounds fine. Comes mono through the one speaker into front, and it does its job well. So, kudos there. And then, of course, you have the games. And you have two absolute bangers here. You have the original Galaga, which is the sequel to Galaxian. And it's it was one of those game changers in the arcade. It's There's not that much I can really say that want to be said, A, by arcade experts better than me, or that has been said for the last 30-some years, because... Well, man, close to 40, I think. Because it's just, it's that timeless of a game. Shoot the aliens, go for high scores, the risk-reward thing of letting your ship be captured so that you can have multiple ships for more firepower. It's great stuff. You can't go wrong here. Same goes with Galaga 88. So this was a later sequel, and it's just like... To me, it's like Galaga Perfected. They added music, the colors are way better, the graphics are better, the enemies have way more mechanics to them, and it is a hard sucker. So I do have it on the TurboGrafx-16, which is Galaga 90, and that plays great as well, don't get me wrong. But I seem to find that that is easier than this. This thing kicks my butt. So there is a definite challenge there, but it's still that kind of tough but fair challenge that just keeps you coming back because I know I'm the problem here. It's not the game cheating me out. Now, do I wish it came with a few more games? Of course, that would be great. But if I'm only going to have two games, and it's going to be coming from the Galaga family, they picked the perfect ones for this unit. So, at the end of the day, what do I think of my Galaga Countercade? You know what? I like it. I actually like it a lot. When I first got it, I wasn't really impressed, but as the weeks have gone on, it's just... It's old faithful. It's always here for me. When I'm rendering videos, when I'm editing, if I just need a quick break from just my normal gaming, or I just want a quick fix, this guy back here is perfect for that. Throw in the fact that I do love both of the games that are on this thing, it's kind of a no-brainer. So these normally retail for between $130 and $150, depending on which one you get. This one back here is normally $130, and at that price, I still probably couldn't recommend it. Especially for this, it only comes with two games, and... Like I said, while the parts that come with it are nice, it's still not the best in the world, so it's not like you're getting full arcade quality machinery here. So it just feels it feels like a lot of money for what you get. So I got this on a flash sale from Walmart for $50. And at 50 bucks, that is an absolute must buy. And if you see any of these arcade countercades at for 50 bucks, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. Especially if it's like the only one you have, you're going to put so much more time into it than you would have ever expected. So, if you're a YouTuber who needs something cool for the background, if you're a guy with a bar at your house and you need a cool little video game set up in there, it, there's a lot of uses for it. Hell, my kid likes to play with it. So, it's just an all-around great value for 50 bucks. Full price, though, oof, I don't know. You still might be better off making your own kind of meme machine, but convenience-wise can't beat this. So that'll do it for today, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any of these arcade countercades or just anything from Arcade 1-Up in general or your own arcade setup for your bar. What the hell? Let me know. Also, be sure to check the links to our other hardware reviews, our video game reviews, and we are the home of the Power Hour podcast, which is also on iTunes and Spotify. Until next time, guys. Cheers. <laughs>